Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have my little summery t-shirt on that I bought when I was in Spain. Even though it's grey AF out. Oh I miss the sun, I miss the blue sky, I miss the sun, I miss the pool. But when I was away I did a little bit of shopping. I'm really lucky that I'm sent a lot of stuff to try out and play with. But there's nothing like going in and having the absolute makeup shopping binge. I love it. Um, yeah, and I always start off in the loop, always on my holidays. I am one of those people who has to get something in the duty free because that's just what you do. That's where my holiday starts. So when I was in the duty free this year, um, I was having like a little wander. I didn't know what I wanted. Like I hadn't researched that much. And I was like, what will I get, what will I get? And I was like trying out like a few different highlights. And then I saw this one, put it on the back of my hand and I was kind of walking around and then I kept like looking back and then I would walk around. Then I'd like look back and I was like, oh, I have to get it. Now, so I bought two things in the duty free, both of which were Tom Ford. In fairness now, I had seen a blog post on the summer 2019 collection from Tom Ford and I had a lipstick in mind, but then I forgot all about that when I saw this beaut. So this is the Radiant Perfecting Powder in number one Gilt Glow. Wait, and I show you. Look at that. It's not translating to the absolute beauty that it is. Now, I don't know if this is a highlight or if this is like an all, no, it's not an all over powder. Maybe it could be, I don't know. Um, It's like a yellow gold, but it has hints of pink in it as well. <laughs> and it's so finely milled and so subtle. It's just like an angel came down and went on you and rubbed it in. You can barely see the, the pink, I can't see it at all. It's just got the hintiest hint of pink to it. I don't have it on today. I'm gonna, on a day where it's like nice and sunny, um, I'll show it to you in action. And I did try to take photos of it on the back of my hand in Spain, in the sunlight, and it still just doesn't translate. So I bought that, look, look at the packaging. It's beautiful, I'm gonna have to like mind that um, so hard. So and it, I, ha I haven't bought Tom Ford in ages because the last thing I bought from Tom Ford was an eyeshadow palette years ago and it was crap. No, I, the formula was fab. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought the shades that I did. Stupid, like I just, anyway. So I bought that and then I was like, well, I'm on my holidays. I can't just buy one thing from Tom Ford. So I bought this as well. And I don't even know what this is. This is the Ultra Shine Lip Colour in shade 03 Nubile. Nubile? Nubile? <gasps> oh. I have it on today and I just have like a little bit more on. Oh my god, I love that. It just feels real creamy, really moisturising. Um, this is the first Tom Ford lipstick that I've ever had. Because I figured if I was going to be spending stupid money on a lipstick for my holidays, I didn't want to get something mad looking that I wasn't going to wear. And I always say that, like if you're going to be spending money on... Um, one makeup item or a couple of makeup items to get something that you know you're going to wear and you're going to get loads of wear out of and that isn't like wild like because if I had a bought something in like a red I'm never going to wear that whereas this one I will wear all the time and then I'll feel great about myself and then I won't feel like it's a waste of money because it won't go off out of date and um, because I'll wear it all the time that's what I tell on myself anyway so I bought those in the duty free so the next thing I saw in the duty free but they, they didn't have my shade then when I was in Spain I was in a chemist and I was like oh, I'll see if they have it. They did, and I bought it. So this is the Chanel Les Beige Eau de Tint. I can't remember what it's called. Eau de Tint Water Fresh Tint. I'm the shade Medium Light. I filmed a video showing first impressions of this, but stay tuned for that. I went to Kiko a few times, and yeah, it does felt like a little bit wild. But they had a sale on, so it was buy two products, get two free. And if you're in Ireland, Kiko do deliver here. You have to spend a certain amount. Go onto the website and have a little look yourself. There is a Kiko shop up in Belfast. I haven't been to that yet. I don't know how good it is. Yeah, so I just passed off things. Like, but things that just spoke to me. I could spend all day in there. They always have it done up really nicely. So this was not part of the buy two, get two free. So of course I had to get it. This is the Ocean Feel Fluid Foundation. Shade 02. I haven't tried this yet on my face, just on the back of my hand in the shop. Um, and I just really liked the consistency. I really liked the texture. I really liked the colour and the finish. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that a go. It's been a while now since I tried a Kiko foundation. Um, but the one that I tried before, I really, really liked. So give that a go and see. I don't know if you have followed me here for a while. You'll know that I love the Smart Colour blushes. And I have shade 5 and shade 7. Do I have them with me or did I pack them? I've had these since last year. 
this is shade seven, this is shade five, and I love them loads. So I said when I was there this time that I would have a look at the more neutral shades, the more everyday, you know. Um, it's not the same. This is shade eight. Like this is proper neon. I'm actually going to terrify myself. Now, can I just show you? It's not the same. Not the same. Totally different. And this is very neon. I'm going to give that a go in a video soon and just show you how you can correct over application. Because I always do. I do it every day of my life. So that is shade eight. But they didn't have a huge amount of kind of normal colours. But I did get shade six. That's nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's just like kind of an everyday, I'm so awkward, kind of dusky peachy shade, kind of. And then I bought two of their single eyeshadows. I bought this one thanks to my friend Joanne from Lipstick and Leopard Print. She bought this as well. And this is a long wear, sorry, what's it called? Long lasting wet and dry use eyeshadow. This is shade 219. And this is like if NARS Orgasm was an eyeshadow, it would be this. Gorgeous. I probably would wear that as a blush though. You can wear these um, wet and dry. I'm sure you could do that with all eyeshadows. Yes, I got that. I bought this eyeshadow. This very normal and a kind of cracked region. This is a high pigment wet and dry eyeshadow in the shade 46. You see it's kind of like a taupey shade. Just like an everyday taupey mactoperson. I have eyeshadows like that that you can just apply all over the lid, a bit of mascara and then pew, out the door. And then also, thanks to Joanne. So these are the Velvet Touch Creamy Blush Sticks. So I got two, because I just did. Um, so this is the shade five. Oh, oh, that's very strong. <laughs> um, but look, they do, they go out into like a velvet, almost powder finish. And then this is shade two. This looks like the NARS Orgasm blush as well. Oh, I love that. I love those type of ones. I love those type of blushes in the summer. Look, they gorge. Just go bonk, 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 blend with your finger or with a brush or with a sponge and happy days. Now, I'm a big fan of the Kiko Long Lasting Eyeshadow Sticks. And so I bought two. Again, I know, I just couldn't buy like one of everything because that's weird. Um, so I got shade 45 and 47. Wait until you see. This is shade 47. Coppery shade. That's like an everyday colour. But then, wait to see shade 45. Because I was like to myself, I have nothing like this in my collection. But imagine this all over the eyelid with just like a brown in the crease. 45, 47. What I like to do with those is, yeah, just apply them onto the lid. I have a good few of those in my collection. If you want me to swatch them, let me know. Now, I love, 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 love the Lasting Precision Automatic Eyeliner in Coal. And I have two shades already. I have these two shades. So this is shade 8 and this is shade 7. I love these shades on the lower lash line. Because if I have like a normal kind of bronzy, smoky eye going on, this on the lower waterline or under the lower lashes is fab. So that's the ones that I have there. The dark blue is shade seven and then the turquoise is shade eight. And because of the love that I have for those, I was like, well, I'm gonna have to check out some more. So I bought two more, shade two. Oh God, I kind of went a little bit wild with the same kind of type shade. So this is shade two, which is If Nars Orgasm was an eyeliner it would be this and then I got shade four as well because I thought this would be lovely on um the lower lashes like you know if you didn't want to have black on the, the lower lashes it's kind of like a burgundy coppery shade Look. so that top shade is shade four that's shade four and then that shade two I was looking at the other eyeliners and I saw this one and I was like, oh my God, this will be fab. So this is the intense color, long lasting eyeliner. It's different. The other ones are twisty uppity, but this one is, you have to sharpen that. And this is shade three. And it's more of like a kind of shimmery bronzy shade and it has like a little smudger on the other end as do the other ones. See it there on the top. I do not need any more eyeliners. If you see me thinking about getting any, just say Karen, Cop onto yourself, and except I bought two more. Um, okay, so when I was with Joanne, we were looking around um, in Kiko, and I saw this. I saw the blue one, and then I saw the next one. So the blue one, this is the Super Color Waterproof Eyeliner, and that's why I bought it. Look at the color. Shade 7. No, 107, sorry. So I'm trying to do like a thick enough line so you can see. And then we saw this other shade, and this other shade just made us go, 
because it was so sparkly. It's shade 116 and it just looks really unassuming in the um, tube. But it's like an olivey, greeny, browny, shimmery, mm, oops, sparkly. Look at that top one. Imagine that, like. So the top one is shade 116 and then the blue one is shade 107. That makes me happy. An arm of swatches makes me happy. Got those. And then um, I just got two kind of regular um, lip liners. My friend Carly was saying to look at the long lasting lip liners, even though I have the long lasting eyeliners. And I just kind of swatched them and I was like, you know, I already have something similar to that at home. Um, oops. And they were like around the 5 99 mark. And then we saw that they had just kind of regular lip liners, like just normal pencil ones for 2 50 I was trying to get a really nice coral um, lip liner. So, well, first of all, I got, okay, I'll go down here. Those are the two lip liners that I bought here and here. So the top one is shade, hold on now, 534. And the bottom one is shade 511. I just don't have a coral shade. Yeah, I probably have loads of shades like that other one. But the coral, see I love coral um, lipsticks in the summer, uh, but I feel like sometimes if they're really glossy, kind of moisturising formula, they can move around. So now I have a lip liner to go with that. Oh my God, I love that. Well, these lipsticks kind of match, like. I got two of the Smart Fusion lipsticks um, in shade 403 and 410. Oh my God, I can't even see that myself. That's very nice. That's shade 403, that one. Again, quite neutral, quite nude, quite wearable. This one is less so, so that's 410. Oh my God, that's gonna go so well with my lip liner. That's the bottom lipstick there. So there's the lip liner. I'll be able to wear that. And that's quite dark to go with that. But like that lip liner and lipstick are gonna be fab together. So that's what I bought. They smell nice. They smell like vanilla. So now my armor swatches and I are gonna be very happy together. I'm gonna put all that makeup on my face. I was asking people on Instagram if they wanted me to show this in my stories or in the video. And everyone was like, do it in your stories. And I was like, I don't think you know how much I bought. This would have taken ages on stories, so now you have it. But um, yeah, if you come follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see these in action. Um, I'll be doing makeup videos and everything with them, so stay tuned for that. Now, if there's anything that you would like to see a review on or a closer look, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and now I'm gonna take all of this makeup on and put some of this on. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'm now on a spending ban for the summer, okay? No more buying stuff, except and going away in July, so maybe I have to like, try something there. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. No more buying stuff.